Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 594. The category will be airplanes. This is a 20 question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end of the video. All of these questions will be about different airplanes and the pilots who flew them. Good luck. Question 1. On May 20th, 1927, Charles Lindbergh took flight aboard a highly modified Ryan M2 aircraft in an attempt to become the first person to fly solo across the Atlantic. What was the name of the plane he was flying? He was flying a plane called the Spirit of St. Louis. Question 2. Capable of carrying over 300 pounds per square foot, the American Lockheed C-130 was originally designed as a troop, medevac, and cargo transport aircraft and officially given what nickname? The C-130 is known as the Hercules. Question 3. Although it hasn't flown since 1999, it still holds the world record for the fastest air-breathing manned airplane in history at just under 2200 miles per hour, or Mach 3 Plus. What was the dark-colored SR-71's nickname? The SR-71 was known as the Blackbird. Question 4. When speaking plainly, the name is used for either of the two U.S. Air Force aircraft used to transport the President. But what is the official air traffic control call sign that can be used for any U.S. Air Force aircraft that is carrying the President of the United States? That call sign is Air Force One. Question 5. The first manned supersonic flight occurred on October 14, 1947, when Captain Charles Chuck Yeager piloted the USAF aircraft number 46062, nicknamed what after his wife? Chuck Yeager's plane was known as the Glamorous Glennis. Question 6. What was the name of the aircraft company that built the Model 10 Electra that was used by Amelia Earhart when she and her partner disappeared while flying over the Pacific Ocean in 1937? The Model 10 Electra was built by Lockheed. Question number seven. Even more fortuitous than the first, which crashed in the Arabian Sea, what was the name of the Boeing B-50 that completed the first ever non-stop around the world trip by an airplane? The answer is the lucky lady number two. Question eight. Piloted by Dick Rutan and Gina Yeager, what type of plane was the first aircraft to complete a successful non-stop, non-refueled circumnavigation of the Earth that included two passes over the equator? It was called a Rutan Voyager. Question 9. Often known simply as the Fokker triplane, 
The World War I fighter plane was built by Fokker Flugzeugwerk and made famous by the German ace Manfred von Richthofen. Known by what nickname? Looking for Manfred von Richthofen's nickname. The pilot, not the plane. He was the Red Baron. Question number 10. What was the name of the Boeing B-29 Super Fortress Bomber named after the mother of the pilot Colonel Paul Tibbetts that became the first aircraft to drop an atomic bomb in warfare and did so on August 6th, 1945? The answer was the Enola Gay. Question 11. In the end, there were 75 stops along the way, including 16 crashes, and Cal Rogers was injured several times, but he managed the first coast-to-coast -coast flight across the U.S. in what airplane, named after the soft drink sponsor of the flight? It was known as the Vin Fizz Flyer. Question 12. Designed for close air support of friendly ground troops attacking armored vehicles and tanks, the Fairchild Republic A-10 Thunderbolt No. 2 is a single-seat, twin turbofan engine, straight-wing jet aircraft, commonly referred to by what nickname? The A-10 Thunderbolt is known as a Warthog. Question 13. Leading to a 31-city war bond publicity tour during the war and a Matthew Modine, Sean Astin Hollywood movie in 1990, what was the name of the plane that became one of the first B-17 bombers to safely complete 25 missions during World War II? The name of that plane and the movie was Memphis Bell. Question 14. In 1909, what man became world famous for making the first airplane flight across the English Channel in an airplane named after himself, winning the prize of 1,000 pounds offered by the Daily Mail newspaper? The answer is Louis Blériot. Question 15. One of the last two airworthy B-29 Super Fortresses in the world, what plane was built in 1944 by Boeing in Wichita, Kansas, and is currently stored and displayed in Wichita, and was nicknamed after a character from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? That plane is known as Doc. Question 16. What is the name or acronym of the largest transportation agency of the U.S. government that regulates all aspects of civil aviation in the country as well as over surrounding international waters? The answer is the FAA or the Federal Aviation Administration. Question 17. Although it was made almost entirely out of birch, what was the nickname given by critics to the airplane built by Howard Hughes' aircraft company entirely of wood because of wartime restrictions on the use of aluminum? That plane was called the Spruce Goose. Question 18. 
what term was used by Allied aircraft pilots during World War II to describe various UFOs or mysterious aerial phenomena seen in the skies over both the European and Pacific theaters of operations. They called them Foo Fighters. Question 19. Restored and on display at the National Museum in the United States Air Force at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, what is the nickname of the B-29 that dropped Fat Man on Nagasaki in 1945? The name of that plane is Boxcar. And question 20. What is the name of the British-French turbojet-powered supersonic passenger airliner that was operated from 1976 until 2003 and had a maximum speed of over twice the speed of sound at Mach 2.04 with seating for 92 to 128 passengers? That plane was the Concorde. Alright, that is it for today's trivia quiz. Thank you for watching. Thank you for always tuning in to Road Trivia. Check back every day for another new 21 question trivia quiz, or like yesterday we had a 50 question, but there are always at least 20 questions usually 21 and occasionally when I have a little bit of extra time I'll make one that's a little bit bigger. I think the next big one that we'll have is coming up on one of these Sundays right before NFL season starts. It'll be a 32 question trivia quiz where there will be well there's 32 NFL teams and there'll be 32 questions. Each question will be one of the NFL teams and all of the NFL teams will only be used once. So it'll be a fun way to kick off the American National Football League season. And between now and then, there will be plenty of 21 question trivia quizzes, including Trebek Trivia and the Brainy Tuesdays. And we've got several good categories coming up in between those regular weekly categories. Anyways, here is question 21 the tiebreaker for plane trivia. In 2003, Congress officially declared what state as the birthplace of aviation because it was the home of Wilbur and Orville Wright who were credited in inventing and flying the first aircraft. So in 2003, Congress officially declared what state the birthplace of aviation. If you answered North Carolina, where they took their first flight, you would be wrong. They actually called Ohio the birthplace of aviation because that's where Wilbur and Orville Wright were born. So the answer is Ohio, not North Carolina. Thank you for watching. Check back tomorrow for another new trivia quiz. And if you get bored, we now have 593 other trivia quizzes that you can go back and watch. See you tomorrow.